things. Huh. Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. I am back. I took off a few days and spent time with family that I don't get to see. But I'm back. I'm back to do the messages of God. He told me to spend time with family, so I did. And uh, we really had a good time. We really got to see some people that I hadn't seen in a long time. And uh, I forgot to bring my Bible over here and my notebook. So I'll be right back and then I'll tell you what we're going to talk about tonight. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. I'm still not in the swing of things yet. So I hope you had an awesome weekend and awesome, I guess the last night I did this was on Thursday. Let's see. Ooh, actually, it was the 15th. It's actually Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is what transpired since the 15th. I went to youth on the 16th which I always do that. And then on the 17th, I had some human trafficking training. And then on the 18th, I went to dinner with family. And then on the 19th, I went to dinner with family. And then yesterday I was with family all day until, you know, late in the afternoon. And uh, but I'm here tonight. And I've been doing laundry today and playing catch up because that's usually what I do on Saturdays. So anyway, what we're going to talk about tonight is um, praising God. We praise you. Um, I shared a song this morning called We Praise You. And I'll read that to you in a little bit. But we need to jump into some prayer. And we'll do our prayer part. It has been a very, very, oh, I didn't share it, apparently. I didn't share it to my, I thought I did. I know I did. Huh, that's weird. Well, maybe I'm not going to share that with y'all. But I really thought that I did share it this morning. Maybe I didn't post it. That's possible. Maybe I can go back to my other page and read it from there. Yeah, because those are my other songs that I... Yeah, why? Alright, let me see if I can get back to my other page. Sorry, I feel less than uh, not organized. I don't feel very organized tonight. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow night, and I was late too. I went out, this Seth decided that he wanted to eat. Here we are. That he wanted to eat. And so I went and fixed him some food. All right. Well, I think it's time to jump into prayer. My hair looks really bad. I've had it in a ponytail all day. Ponytails are how I roll during the summer. So let's go ahead and pray. God, we just thank you and we praise you because you are on your throne and you are in control. God, and... Uh, <laughs> You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I Am. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You have always been and you will always be. You are our creator, our protector, our provider, our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge. God, we just thank you. We thank you for everything, God. We are grateful we want to praise you. We want to bring you all of our praise. God, we just, uh, we thank you 
You are magnificent and powerful and mighty. You are the righteous judge that will judge unrighteousness. God, but you are kind and loving and compassionate and forgiving and trustworthy. And you are patient. You want none to perish, God. We thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just cry out for the lost. The lost in our nation. The lost in our communities. The lost all over the world, God. We just pray that you would open their hearts and open their ears and open their eyes to truth, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We just pray for them to see where they are, to return to you, to repent, to uh, have their relationship with you reconciled and made new. God, we just pray for um, all the disasters that are going on, God. We just pray that you would be with these people. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them every day, God, that they would just keep moving forward and just keep following Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I'm sorry, but my nose <laughs> itches. I've got this allergy thing going on. Okay. So I'm going to read what I wrote. Um, actually, I listened to this song yesterday, and I was going to share it yesterday, but I ran out of time. I ran out of time in the morning getting ready for church. I was trying to get there kind of on time. Okay, so I woke up singing this song and message this morning. I love the lyrics of this song. This was one of our youth camp songs. It's called, We Praise You. Um, I just want to be in praise and worship today. I wanted to share this song yesterday, but I ran out of time. I spent the past few days with family, friends, and I'm so thankful and grateful for each one. My brother-in-law Tommy's celebration of life was like a reunion of faces that I have not seen in so many years. I did not know who people were. But once they introduced themselves to me, I recognized their faces. <laughs> oh, it's so bad when you get older. Uh, some are friends and family that live close by and some far away. We ate and visited. It was perfect. We all got together yesterday at Tim and Alicia's. Yesterday again for Father's Day. <laughs> and ate and visited too. I am so tired today though, and I'm playing catch-up on laundry dishes, learning more about doing Zoom presentations, and PowerPoint, too. So I started uh, studying things about human trafficking today that I've learned that I need to commit to this memory. I'm organizing my busy week also with things coming up this week. I'm on my lunch break right now. Are you praising today for all the great things that God is doing in your life through Jesus, His Son? Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Come as you are now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. All right, so that is what I wrote today. So let's do some scriptures. I may not be on here for long. I'm in the middle of laundry. It's been going very slow today. I want to start being here <clears throat> every day except for um, Wednesdays. I won't be here on Wednesdays. Okay, Isaiah 25. 
Isaiah 25, 1 says, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth, for thou hast made of a city and heap of a defense city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is a storm against the wall. So we need to praise God. This says a song of confidence. So it just sounds, I think I'm going to read the rest. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heart, as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lee, on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. Wow, this sounds like what we've been going through. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all off, uh, off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. Well, that sounds like the rapture, that he will take us all away. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, that is our God, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunghill. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them. And he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forces, forth his hands to swim, and he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. In the fortress of the high fort of thy walls, shall he bring down, lay low, and bring to the to the ground even to the dust. Wow, that was powerful. That was a bonus. I was just wanting to read 25.1, but the rest of that was really good, too. So let's go back to Psalms. And I have several Psalms, because Psalms is so much about praise. And praise is so important. Uh, let's just read all of it. Unto thee will I cry. This is a Psalm of David. It says, Give glory to God. Psalm 28. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Yeah, wow, that is, um, hmm. that's what we're experiencing with some of our leadership. Their words don't match their actions. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert because they regard not the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands he shall destroy them and not build them up blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplications the Lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and I am helped therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will I praise him 
The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Give glory to God. We need to praise God. Let's read Psalm 42, 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance countenance and my God yes we need to praise God we need to praise God all right 56 4 says in God I will praise his word in God I have put my trust I will not fear what flesh can do unto me Every day they rest my words. I think this is a Psalm of David also. No, it's not. Hmm. Mitchum of David. Hmm, I don't know. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. When they wait for my soul, shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word, and the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. The vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Whew, I like Psalms. It is some of my favorite readings. Okay, let's go to uh, Daniel 2.23. Daniel 2.23 I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who hast given me wisdom and might, and hast made known unto me now what ye desired of thee. For thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter. So that is Daniel praising God. Let's go to Acts. It is hot today. Very hot today where I live. And it's just June, so it's not going to get any cooler. I guess we just need to get used to it. Okay, 46, Daniel, I mean not Daniel, Acts 2, 46 through 47. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. Excuse me, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. So again, praising God, praising God. All right, let's go to Colossians 3, 16. Colossians 3, 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. So that was the last one I wanted to look up today. I need to put this date on here though. Six, what is today? The 
21st, 21. Okay. Well, we got our scripture done. So it's time to read. It's time to read the notes from my quiet time. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings. Time to be sorrowful and time to rejoice. A time to get caught on what wasn't done last week. To get things together for this week. A day to get things lined out, child. A day to relax some also. A new beautiful day, child. I said thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. A time to be sorrowful in a time to rejoice, a time to get caught up on what wasn't done last week, and to get things organized for this week, too. Thank you for a new beautiful day, God. I just want to spend a day in praise. It was a hard emotional weekend, and I just want to praise you for all the awesome things that happened and focus on these things and not the others. Overall, last weekend was awesome, and I'm thankful and grateful for all of my experiences. It was so great to see people, my family again, and to be able to hug everyone after last year, God. Thank you. Tommy and Caroline have a beautiful growing legacy, God. Thank you. I know that you have called me into the next door that you have prepared for me. I know that it is an avenue to share the gospel to. I gladly walk through. Please help me to get organized today so all things will fall into place according to your will and perfect timing. Help me to walk in your ways and not invite the enemy to our table to see all the awesome things prepared and not the bad. Thank you for Nikki Reagan also. Who wants to go help on Thursday too. Thank you God. I want to rejoice today and put the bad feelings aside. He said, child, so many things are taking place, but I need you to focus on me and what I need you to do. I called you to family this weekend and whether you realize it or not, you were the hands and feet of Jesus. You were willing and whether others saw all that you did, I saw everything, and that is what matters. I saw your heart too, child. Realize at all times I am in your corner fighting for you. Do not invite the enemy into your thoughts. Do not let the enemy lash out at your family either. Have self-control over your feelings. I said, thank you, God. You are so right. I did invite the enemy to my table that Jesus prepared for me and him only. Forgive me for that. I felt so pulled in different directions this weekend. I felt like I was constantly running somewhere. Thank you for today to get caught up on what I didn't do this weekend and to organize this week also. Thank you for meeting me today and helping me see clearly what is most important. Thank you that you are watching over family members as they travel today, God. Please keep them safe. I missed our meetings this weekend, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child, and I have called you to many things. So be obedient in all. I have chosen you. I have chosen for you. So be obedient in all I have chosen for you. Walk in the Spirit, child, and recognize when you are not. Be the hands, feet, love, and compassion of Jesus. And do not be easily offended, child. Continue to run your race. Many that you love are here with me. So keep moving forward, following your shepherd, my son. Stay right behind him, child. All will be well with you. Beauty, peace, love, and joy of perfection are here. Be ready, child. And I said, Maranatha, God. I am ready. I am ready. I'm 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 ready. I'
ring. I was watching a deal this afternoon about this giant, giant AI thing that's going to be in 21 of our cities. I'm really wanting Jesus to come before then. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, it is time to do salvation. Hmm. Do I have anything about praise? I think I'll do the bracelet. I haven't done it in a while. If I can find the bracelet. I didn't even get my music set up tonight. I'm quite out of it. This is my beginning back after, wow, many days off. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow, that's a lot of days. Four, five, five days off. So I apologize. Okay, for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. Okay. Let me get the bracelet going in the right direction here. <laughs> okay, so we got the gold. We got the gold. The gold color represents God, the creator of all, who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. Excuse me. I had to burp. God is perfect. God loves you, and he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. So the dark question mark, the dark color represents sin, which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever. So the first question Mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? Well, we have the red. We have the red color. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. Jesus paid it all for us. The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. So this question mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in him? So if you have not, let's pray. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so if you prayed that prayer, moving on, the green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the areas of growth. So we have the heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the
the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God, love people. And so the, set, the next one is the Bible. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and his love. The next one is the little praying guy. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with him. And praise him too. Praise him too. Uh, when we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are now a new person, like being born all over again. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. My nose itches again. So if you said that prayer, this is again E3 resources. If you said that prayer, then the angels in heaven are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son. And I told you how to grow closer to God. Read His Word. Pray and praise. And grow closer. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Alright, well I think that I've done everything that I was called to do. I may clean my desk off tomorrow because it's really bad. Alright. Well, let's do God's blessing and let's pray. And I'm going to get off of here. Okay, so the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. That is the number 6, 24 through 26. That is God's blessing to you. God also wants you to teach your children about his word. So teach the generations under you about his word. We are to teach them to pray. We are to teach them to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, his son. All right. Well, let us pray. Let's pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We want to praise you. We want to give you all the glory, honor, and praise that we have. God, we just thank you for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for all the people that are sick, that you have healed, and we just pray that you would be with the ones that are sick right now, God, and heal their bodies. We pray for traveling mercies for our families, God. We pray that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence, God. We just pray for, um, we pray for our country, God. We just pray that it would be united again. God, it is so disunited right now. And I know the enemy is looking down and just loving all the hate that's being spewed out of the mouths of people. But God, through Jesus, love can replace that hate. And through Jesus, love uh, um, restoration can come to all the hearts and through Jesus people can be saved God we know that so we just thank you for that and in Jesus name we pray Amen alright my pray and share warriors I hope that you all have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow which is Tuesday and um much love, much love, and cyber hugs until I see you again. I ha I'm starting to see people again. I'm able to give real hugs. 
So God bless you all and good night.